Our body has many organs, but the most dangerous organ is the tongue. The tongue utter letters that form words. These words are so significant that with one word you can become a Muslim and with one word you leave Islam. With one word that sister will become your wife and with another word that sister will become haram Aisha radiallahu anha was standing with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and as they were sitting together Safiya radiallahu anha was leaving and Aisha radiallahu anha told Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one word she is short Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said oh Aisha you have said a word if it was mixed with the ocean, the ocean will become contaminated. The person might say a word that is not pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is a very important statement. لا يلقي لها بال. He does not pay any attention to it. I was just joking. I did not mean it. لا يلقي لها بال. It will lead him to Jahannam, to the hellfire. We always make dua, Ya Allah, resurrect us with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. While he said, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, the most disliked by me, the furthest from me on the day of judgment are three kinds of people. الثرثارون, the talkative. He does not stop talking. Every single one of us knows somebody. He does not stop talking. Ya akhi, please be quiet. Well, the one who speaks with an open mouth, pretending that he knows everything. And he starts saying words that the person he's talking to does not understand to show off that he's very eloquent. They said, Ya Rasulullah, we know the first two. What is that third one? Mutafayhiqun. He said, Al Mutakabirun, the arrogant one. The arrogant one is the one when he talked to somebody else, they look down upon them. I am not befitting to talk to you. Who are you? I have no time for you. Now, if you look at those three, what do they have in common? The reason that these three people are away from Rasulullah the reason why these three people are the most disliked by Rasulullah is because they misused one organ the tongue. The tongue led them to this result. Mu'adh radiallahu anhu in a very long hadith. He asked many questions to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And then at the end, he said, Ya Rasulullah, are we accountable about the things we say? Ya Mu'adh, the main reason why people are in the hellfire thrown on their faces is because, and listen to this very important word, the harvest, hasaid, the harvest of their tongue. Now we come to the most dangerous part. In the battle of Tabuk, as the people with Rasulullah going back, one of the people said, I do not see anyone like these Huffaz, like these reciters, they have the hungriest stomach and they are the most lying and they are the most cowardice when it comes to battles. One of the Sahaba got very upset. He said, how dare you say this on people of the Quran? And he went to Rasulullah and informed him. Rasulullah was very upset. And if you ask them, they say, Ya Rasulullah, we're just wasting time. It was a long trip. We're just joking around. Rasulullah said, you are making fun of Allah and his ayat and his messenger, even though they did not mention anything about Rasulullah. So they started apologizing. Allah revealed ayat to tell these men, and to every single person who mock the deen, لا تعتذروا قد كفرتم 
قد كفرتم بعد إيمانكم. Do not apologize. You have committed kufr after you have been believers. There's a hadith that is so funny. And let me tell you the joke about this hadith. Or a barber in his shop, he has an ayah. فقصص القصص لعلهم يتفكرون. Qassa means to get a haircut. So he's using the ayah. So that means I am the best barber. He's using the ayah to promote his business. No, no joking about the Quran. No joking about the hadith. No joking about the people of deen. Look at his beard. Looks like a goat. Look at hijab. She looks like a, a mobile tent. Be very careful. Joke about anything halal. But do not joke about anything that has to do with the Qur'an.